President Trump formally accepted the GOP nomination for re-election on Thursday evening in front of a sea of guests on the White House South Lawn to close out the 2020 Republican National Convention. We are one national family and we will always protect, love and care for each other, Trump, 74, said to thunderous applause from the crowd of supporters after emerging from the White House with First Lady Melania Trump to the sounds of Lee Greenwood's, God bless the USA. Trump alternated between slamming Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden and offering what he said was a positive vision for the country to wild cheers of, four more years. From one, 500 supporters in white lawn chairs. The speech concluded with a fireworks display at the Washington Monument that put the capital city's annual 4th of July display to shame, including stars and flashes that spelled out, Trump, and, 2020, in the sky. Trump spoke as anti-police brutality activists demonstrated loudly outside the White House fence, blaring foghorns and chanting, continuing months of unrest linked to the May killing of George Floyd by a police officer in Minnesota. Joe Biden is weak, Trump told the audience. Just imagine if the so-called peaceful demonstrators in the streets were in charge of every lever of power in the U.S. government. Just think of that. In a lengthy, 70-minute speech, Trump contrasted what he said was Biden's downcast vision with his own vows to continue to tax cuts, land a woman on the moon, lower prescription drug costs, keep America out of endless and costly foreign wars, and ensure the U.S. takes its business out of China. Trump said he also would be a better manager of the coronavirus pandemic, vowing that the U.S. will produce a vaccine before the end of the year, or maybe even sooner. He called COVID-19, which killed about 180,000 Americans since March, the China virus, and optimistically said the U.S. is quickly returning to full employment, soaring incomes, and record prosperity. He highlighted Biden's criticism of his February travel ban on Chinese travelers, and said Biden would impose a ruinous national shutdown. The cost of the Biden shutdown would be measured in increased drug overdoses, depression, alcohol addiction, suicides, heart attacks, economic devastation and more. Joe Biden's plan is not a solution to the virus, but rather a surrender, Trump said. The address began on an emotional note as he thanked First Lady Melania Trump and his family, saying, I love you more than words can express, and paid tribute to his late brother, Robert Trump, who passed away this month. Trump settled on the site for the speech last month after he was forced to cancel a raucous, in-person convention in Jacksonville amid the pandemic, and in an Oval Office interview told The Post he believed a White House address would make the country feel good.